think you're wrong about that robot trying to be your friend. Lisa, don't contradict your elders. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for predictions we absolutely 100% do not want to see happen from The Simpsons. Why do you need subliminal messages? Uh, it's a three pronged attack subliminal, liminal, and superliminal. Number 10, Judgment Day. The end of the world, no matter how it happens, is not going to be a good time, to put it lightly. During a particularly hot Easter, the Simpsons fall asleep during church service. Everyone's gone. Oh, how embarrassing. Ooh, we slept right through church. That on its own is pretty embarrassing, but to make things worse as they exit, it's the end of the world. It's the rapture, and I never knew true love. I never used those pizza coupons. It's bad enough seeing your goody-goody neighbors ascend to heaven, but then to go down a fiery staircase to the smell of barbecue only to find out they're out of hot dogs? Ah! Oh, they're out of hot dogs! And the coleslaw has pineapple in it! Ah! German potato salad! If Judgment Day does come to pass, we just hope we're wearing clean underpants. Number 9. Black Hole when Springfield turns on its subatomic super collider for the first time, it appears as though nothing happened because it's too small in terms of size. You can tell your grandchildren you were here when humanity finally learned that this accelerator is much too small to tell us anything important. Soon, a black hole is formed, and it begins sucking up various objects and people it encounters. Lisa is able to corral it into her family's basement, where she warns everyone not to feed it anything else. Stop throwing things in the hole! The more you throw in, the bigger and more dangerous it becomes! Of course, no one listens, and Homer goes so far as to start a business where he uses the black hole to get rid of people's junk. It's possible someone may have started a business called Magic Crap Hole Waste Removal, but it wasn't me. Once it hits critical mass, it begins expanding uncontrollably until stopped by Maggie's pacifier. However unlikely this scenario is, we definitely would not want to enter a black hole. <laughs> Welcome, trans-dimensional visitors. Number 8. Zombie Apocalypse Whether through magic or some other mechanism, the dead rising is never a good sign. When Lisa is upset over the loss of her cat Snowball 1, Bart offers to raise the dead to bring the pet back from the grave. Hey, maybe there's a spell in here that'll bring her back from the dead. Let's see what we've got. How to get your skeletons their whitest, selling your soul in a buyer's market. Ah, here we are. How to raise the dead. <laughs> It turns out he cast the wrong spell, and now zombies are present in Springfield. They run amok attacking many people, and it isn't until Bart is able to cast a counterspell that the town is saved. Trojan, Ramses, Magnum, Sheik! <laughs> Luckily, things were resolved before too much damage was done, but it just goes to show that you shouldn't read spells from books you find in the occult section of your library. Well, I'm sure glad we didn't turn into mindless zombies. Shh! TV! Man, fall down. Funny. Number 7. Soylent Green There's always been concern about what goes into what we eat. Some people try to stay away from certain additives, so imagine finding out your food is made of people. A second grade sorcerer is so powerful, she made tonight's refreshments out of dead people. <laughs> there have been a couple of instances on The Simpsons where in the future, Soylent Green is a product available for consumption. In Bart to the Future, we see Homer and Marge trying virtual fudge when Ralph and Bart arrive. Homer then offers them some Soylent Green. Anyway, can I get you some Soylent Green? Isn't that made of people? Oh, uh, here we go. At the end of Itchy and Scratchy the movie, when Homer and Bart go to the cinema, there's a man ordering the product at the concession stand. One Soylent Green, hold the butter. Mmm, Soylent Green. In both of these instances, Homer is fine with the idea of consuming people. We, however, are not. Number 6. The Dangers of VR When Mr. Burns and Smithers accidentally run over Professor Frank, Burns is introduced to the world of VR. The Oculus Frank, or Froculus, provides you with a complete virtual reality experience, <clears throat> letting you live in a world of your dreams. He uses the technology to create a virtual family. Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie are hired to serve as models for Burns' custom program. 
this puts a strain on Homer as he's isolated from his real family as they spend long days recording footage. What's the matter, Homer? Last night, Marge and the kids didn't get home till 11 at night. When I came back from Moe's at 11.05, they were still taking off their coats. The end of the episode highlights the real potential danger of VR, as it flashes forward a few years where we see everyone in Springfield has a virtual reality headset. It's a disconnected society as people walk around oblivious to the world going on around them. Everyone is stuck in their fantasy, and it makes the real world a cold and lonely place. Number 5. Robots Take Over There have been great improvements in the fields of AI and robotics in recent years, and while they can offer many benefits to society, darker outcomes are possible, at least according to The Simpsons. Elementary chaos theory tells us that all robots will eventually turn against their masters and run amok in an orgy of blood and kicking and the biting with the metal teeth and the hurting and shoving. When the family travels to itchy and scratchy land, they marvel at the theme park's robotic technology and are assured that humans are safe from harm. This turns out to not be the case as they violently rise up, and it's up to the Simpsons to stop them. Oh my, it looks like we're doomed. Back, you robot! Nobody ruins my family vacation but me and maybe the boy! In another episode, Mr. Burns decides to replace his workforce with robots after being held liable for radiation damage suffered by employees. Not only do these robots also rise up, but the town is in economic ruin due to everyone losing their job. It's no fun to live in a town with a 99% unemployment rate. Things are so bad. Look at what happened to the man on my pizza box. Number 4. The Soviet Union Returns Homer joins the Naval Reserve after getting fired from his job at the nuclear power plant. Are you thinking of joining the Naval Reserve? Would you be proud of me? Eh, sort of. Then I'll do it! During a war game exercise, he becomes commanding officer of his submarine after the ship's captain is accidentally fired from a torpedo tube. While in charge, Homer sends his crew wildly off course and into Russian waters. Aside from being seen as a traitor, the event results in diplomatic action taking place at the United Nations, where the Russian delegate refers to his nation as the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union will be pleased to offer amnesty to your wayward vessel. When questioned about it, he reveals the USSR never really dissolved, and there's a brief montage of the Soviet return. I thought you guys broke up. Yes, that's what we wanted you to think. <laughs> We've already seen Russian military action in Ukraine, and any further actions taken against former Soviet nations could result in further conflict. Number 3. Mind Control We certainly hope we're not being brainwashed with subliminal messages through popular music. Otto, what are you doing? I don't know. I just got an urge to join the Navy. You're being brainwashed! Yeah, probably. Bart is recruited by LT Smash to be the bad boy for his boy band The Party Posse, where he's joined by Nelson, Milhouse, and Ralph. While watching their music video, Lisa feels something is off about it, and eventually figures out the chorus is the phrase, join the Navy, backwards. They're recruiting people with subliminal messages! When she goes to warn LT Smash, she discovers it's all part of the government's plan to get people to join the Navy, and reveals that various pop stars have been used for armed forces recruitment. Oh, come on, Lisa. We've always used pop stars to recruit people. Going back to Elvis. Then there was Sergeant Peppers, the Captain and Tennille, and the Kiss Army. Number 2. War Between America and China Conflict between China and the United States seems inevitable, at least if this prediction ever comes to pass. While watching the news, Kent Brockman declares that America and China have declared war. Good evening. It is with great sadness I inform you that America and China have declared war. Obviously, this is a shocking development, which is only increased by the announcement of an incoming nuclear strike. Fortunately, in this case, the announcement is part of Springfield's disaster preparedness drill. That's the sort of hypothetical emergency today's disaster preparedness drill is designed to get us ready for. Though there have been economic disputes between the two countries in recent years, we hope nothing escalates to the point of armed conflict, as it would no doubt lead to worldwide disaster. Ah! The missiles really are coming! The so-called drill is just a way to get you into your shelters without causing total chaos! is what I would say if this weren't a drill. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Nuclear Strike Ever since the end of the Second World War, there's been the very real threat of nuclear warfare. There have been a few close calls in the years since, but so far we've averted disaster. The same cannot be said for the residents of Springfield after Mayor Quimby insults the people of France. I stand by my ethnic slur! The French president responds with a nuclear strike. Homer is seemingly the only survivor, until he discovers that others have survived as mutants who like to eat the skin of the living. Not everyone died in the blast, Homer. Some of us were merely horribly mutated. He's ultimately saved by his family, who survived thanks to lead paint. France doesn't seem likely to launch a nuclear weapon, but we don't want any country to use such a device. Friends with mutants, right? Now that's the Marge I married. So, who wants to steal some Ferrari? What prediction would you not want to see come true? Let us know in the comments. Why aren't we ascending into heaven? All oh, right, the sins. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.